What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we're going to be working on the Dooley again today, which by the way, just saying, you guys are almost out of time to enter to win that truck. I believe there's three days left when you see this video, so last 72 hours to place orders at lmpgear.com. You can buy a hat, hoodie, t-shirt, anything you want. Buy anything on the site and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. Every $1 gets you 20 entries towards winning the Dooley Sport five speed manual, 12 out plus five grand. And why not take the chance of that being you? I mean, it, it's literally like you could buy a sticker and you could have a freaking truck in five grand. I don't know about you, but to me, that would be a pretty darn good ROI return on investment. So if you want to get in, get in while you can. Giveaway ends in three days. So today's video and progress on the dually is going to include, hopefully, a giant four corner turbo. We're gonna be using the creeper a lot. And we're gonna be trying to get some progress on this thing, and there's a few things that we really gotta do. And the most important thing to get started with is dismantling the intake, the turbo, the manifold, the you know, the oil line. Get all that, we gotta at least pull everything out. That way we can see clearly what we're working with to get everything fit in there. So once I get all that stuff pulled out, we're gonna get into the details on what we gotta do in the process. But let's just get started with at least dismantling everything and then we'll get a progress update from that point on. Now my goal today is to work on this truck for six hours. So I'm starting right now, it's 10 a.m. and get as much done as I can. If I don't get the compounds completely installed, that is why it's because I ran out of time because I do have to edit a couple videos tonight. As much as I would love to say, all I do is film and then once I turn the camera off, everything's just automatically edited and up on YouTube and everything, all my other work is done. That's not the reality you face when you are doing this. There's a lot of stuff you gotta do behind the scenes, so I do have to segment time out to start and stop and work on other projects and other things. So let's get started on dismantling this and hopefully we can get a lot done. Hopefully we can get everything installed by 3 p.m. in six hours of time. I don't know, it says that it takes four to eight hours to install this, to do the whole process. And I don't know where I fall on the spectrum, but I don't know, it'll, it'll be close to getting done, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Now what I'm gonna do right now, I don't need to, but I'm actually gonna start the truck up just because I wanna make sure there's no like minor air leaks in the injector work from the previous video. This is gonna be the first time the truck sat for a, not quite 24 hours, but about 16, 17 hours. So if there was any kind of minor air leak around the fuel lines or whatever, it'll probably be a pain in the butt to start. And um, I just wanna know for sure. Now, this truck does typically crank a little bit longer than like a first gen does with a VE pump. I don't know why those just, you touch the key and they fire. This truck seems to, unless I hit the throttle a couple times, it cranks for probably, I wanna say three or four seconds at most. We're pretty much around three seconds and it should fire off. If it's cranking a lot more than that, then there might be a small air leak somewhere. So we wanna make sure that that's not a problem. Well guys, let me update you on the progress we got so far. We got the manifold pulled out with the turbo on it, got part of the intercooler piping pulled out, oil return line, intake, exhaust clamp off of the um, down pipe coming off the turbo. I haven't messed with taking the turbo off and whatnot yet, 
But we do have to go pick up some more manifold bolts because I was actually missing a couple of them in the process of taking out the manifold. I noticed that there were three manifold bolts missing. Conveniently, they were like staggered out on the bottom. Like it was like every other one on the bottom so you never really saw them were, were missing. So I'm gonna actually run and buy a whole new set of exhaust manifold bolts because if I'm gonna buy three new ones, I'd rather just buy 12 new ones and then have all new ones so they're all shiny, not like you got a couple that are shiny and new and they, all the rest are like rusty. So uh, they've been in this truck for you know 20 years. It's about time we just put some new ones in there. That way they're new and they're not rusted and weak possibly from being in there that long so we're gonna get to doing that right now but here's what we've gotten out so far pretty much everything is out that needs to be out however I only have two hours left to work on this truck today so I've been out here for a total of four hours already it's almost two o'clock I've been out here working on this truck since 10 a.m. am I gonna be able to get it done today not likely with only two hours left to work on it I just not gonna fit in the schedule unless somehow when I get back this turbo comes off that manifold super easy and everything is just super smooth and easy going but you know how that goes don't always want to bank on that because it's usually not going to happen when you're banking on it happening and then your hopes get let down so anyways we're going to run i got rosine fired up we're going to run grab some new bolts and get back over here and see if we can't crush it a little bit more but that's the update for now broken off stud and the thing that irritates me the most is that it came like halfway out and then it broke off like halfway down in there it's freaking lovely and yesterday installing the injectors reminded me of what I liked about doing these projects which is like when you're putting in new parts the feeling of getting it done whatever it, it's exciting it's cool it's fun you know you get a little bit of an adrenaline thing like when you're working on something you're on a mission to get it done and install stuff but I also remember why I stopped doing this kind of stuff for a while and that's the dismantling part I hate the dismantling of the old rusty crusty nasty I mean the manifold of course is just it's a part of the truck where if you're gonna find a seized up bolt, there's plenty of places to find one. But this place of all places, I mean, it's a pretty high probability that you're gonna find something that's seized up. That's just kind of normal in the location with heat, you know, heating up and cooling down and heating up and cooling down. I mean, you know, it's pretty much a given that that's, you're gonna find something seized up on something this old that's been running for this long. But I'm telling you what, I despise these types of parts of the project. So when I left you guys last, I said, I've got two hours left to work. I've got to get stuff done. I've got two hours. All I've got to do is go get these bolts and come back. I forgot that I had to dismantle the turbo from the old manifold. Now I knew I had to take it off, but I forgot that I also had to remove the studs. I was speaking too soon that I would just be able to go get those bolts and we could start assembling the compound and getting that in the truck because this has taken up all the time since I got back. So when we got back, I was able to pull the turbo off of the truck and get that taken off. That was fine. I haven't had to break loose any other bolts on it yet, but taking the four nuts off, holding it in place, that, that happened fairly easily. It wasn't too much of a challenge, and you know I was thankful for that. Three of the studs came out pretty easy again. I was thankful for that. I'm like, man, this is actually, like this is working. You can see, you know, by the markings on them. They put up a little bit of a fight, but they came out. I mean, they came out with about five minutes of work on each of them, which, you know, five minutes just to get a stud out. There's still five minutes to get a stud out, but in comparison to this son of a gun right here, yeah. I'm like losing my mind out here today. Like the shop's getting messy because I'm working on stuff again. And like when I'm working, trying to get something done, I'm not like working and then like stopping and taking a few minutes to clean up every time. Like when I'm out here working in the shop, 
things just get messy. And when I'm not out here working in the shop, I'm like, man, this place is dirty. I gotta clean it up. But like, I'm just getting to a point where like, I'm now an hour past my schedule. The stupid stud broke off in the manifold. So that sucked. And now I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna have to stop today because I'm gonna lose my mind if I keep going on this. For you guys that are mechanics, I've said this before years ago when I started doing this, I said, for you guys that are mechanics full time, I don't know if it's actually a passion of yours to solve problems, but you guys are underpaid. I don't care what you guys are making, you guys are underpaid because I could never, ever want to do this full time with somebody else pointing a finger at me, telling me, hey, this is your job, you come in, you fix this, you do that, and then like knowing that I'm going to only get paid a certain amount that I agreed to, and I can't make more, but I could make less. No matter how much you pay me, I would not want to do that full time, all the time. That being said, I don't know if I'm gonna have to buy a new manifold, if I can find somebody like first thing tomorrow morning that can pull that out. Not likely. I've got three days left before this truck giveaway is over, which I'll say this again, even though we have complications and stuff, the truck will be done and complete when it goes off to you. We're not gonna be like, oh, well, the manifold stud stuck and we couldn't get the compounds in, so you got a trailer back with no compounds and that's not, that's not how it works. It's not like, oh, if it's not done by the deadline, it doesn't get done. It will still get done. I'm just trying to get everything done before the end of the giveaway. That way you guys can see it complete, which is still my goal, but it's going to be freaking. It just got a lot more complicated because if I can't find a manifold local, tonight or first thing tomorrow morning, it's already Friday, you know? So, and I'm supposed to be going out of town here for the weekend and Monday's the last day. So unless I have a manifold at, the, at my doorstep on Monday morning at like 6 a.m. so I can get out here and install all these compounds and get that done that morning, this is gonna be a freaking crunch like no other. I've never been under this much of a crunch to try to push myself to get something done like this fast that's like this involving. And it, yeah, like it was fun until the stud thing happened because now I'm like, crap, now I have to either find a manifold or find somebody to pull that out. And it's gonna be very unlikely to find somebody who's gonna be able to get that out by first thing tomorrow morning because it's already like five o'clock. So uh, yeah, odds are stacked against me. Too much on my mind, now I'm running behind and I have to try to get back in a good spirit and a good mood because it's stressing me out right now. So I'm gonna have to get going on some of my other stuff. That way I don't get behind on more than just this. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family. Don't forget that if you wanna to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, all you've gotta do is go to LNP Gear. Wait for the stupid semi to go by. Okay, don't forget that if you want to enter to win this truck plus five thousand dollars cash, all you've got to do is go to lmpgear.com, buy anything on the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win times twenty. Twenty X entries are live right now as well, so get in while you can. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.